I appreciate all the fans I had. Hate me or love me. He watched. That's all you could do. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jobbers and Goons. I'm actually dropping a few videos today, just running through some of my content. Uh, as I had a lot of it backed up, and uh, I have a lot more I'm going through in terms of content-wise. Since it's a view drop in the first few months of YouTube, I'm like, why the hell don't I just drop as much content as I want? Who gives a damn? <laughs> so we are going to be enjoying this. Make sure to smash the like button. Get this to 200 likes. And perhaps we can do a spinoff of this what if. But this was a question I posed to the community tab a while ago, right? I was like, what do you guys think would happen if Blue Marvel prepped to defeat the Justice League? And the answers were truly mixed. Some people think Blue Marvel, especially with prep, would wash them. Some people think he gets washed. We're going to discuss this scenario and how I think it would go in a narrative sense, like how I believe it would play out. Like I said, make sure to like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and without further ado, let's begin. Now, who is Blue Marvel? Blue Marvel, first of all, one of the first things I want to address, he's one of the smartest characters to exist in Marvel Comics. This is a character who has the respect of some of the literal smartest people in the multiverse, including T'Challa, who he regularly converses with about physics and the things that go on beyond it. His work and experience with both matter and antimatter give Brashear credentials that, honestly, usurp most in reality. This is a dude that in Defenders Beyond was literally talking to God. Ridiculous. Like, his ability to understand the most fundamental aspects of creation puts him in a unique category in terms of intelligence and strategy and what he's able to understand and work with and against. On top of that, his powers, including his antimatter energy, puts him on par with some of the heaviest hit hitters in Marvel. In Defenders Beyond, he was literally boxing up Beyonders as they couldn't actually just straight up negate his uh, powers since they do technically have matter forms. And the fact that they can't just throw up a defense and stop his blast is crazy. And he was able to take them down. Given he can combat the Ivory Kings, keep up with them, even damage their matter forms, this puts him in an outer to high outer potential, as well as he has access to some of the greatest tech in Marvel and devices like the Eternity Mask, which essentially negates most power levels up to bare minimum the White Hot Room uh, within Marvel Comics, right up to the House of Ideas, uh, like right before that. And this essentially, like, stats equalizes everything, and you kind of got to win from there. So that's also something within his wheelhouse. Now, if he was to go up against the Justice League, there's obvious heady, heavy hitters we kind of got to address off rip. Superman, the power of plot in Krypton. Um, he's going to be one of the most dangerous characters here in terms of actually putting them down. There's then characters like Wonder Woman, Flash, Martian Manhunter, Aquaman, uh, Cyborg. All these characters, they're incredible, and Batman, of course. They're incredibly difficult to take down. Now, what's some? What's a fun scenario to throw the Justice League versus Blue Marvel? Like, what is an instance in which we can rationally devise a scenario where Brashear has to come up with a way to take down this League? I think easiest way to go about it is we have an incursion-like scenario where essentially if both universes touch, a calamity will ensue, both die, absolute universal destruction, and because of this, one side's trying to prevent it by getting rid of the other first. Now, before these two Earths clash, Brashear is going to try to stop the other planet or take them out from taking down his, and he has to do so by taking down their best defenders, which is the Justice League. Now, how do you go about this? First of all, I don't think Brashear will have any, especially, and I want to say this, specifically after Defenders Beyond, he, rest assured, 
has no issue base to base versus anyone in terms of power for the Justice League. I said it. Blue Marvel literally was boxing up the Ivory Kings, who predate narratives, right? Like they were hanging out and hanging around narratives and shit on a fundamental level, level beyond Outerversal. It's fucking ridiculous. And for that to occur, we need to acknowledge the power level they have Blue Marvel playing at right now due to his role within Defenders Beyond, which is essentially uh, a team going throughout all of Marvel's cosmology, exploring and handling crises that extend to that far, right? This has allowed him to reach a power which, in my opinion, at least narratively, would be respected to the point that he could easily go toe-to-toe in brute force with anyone within the Justice League, right? So then we have to, I think the strongest member and like the hardest one for him to just take out in an all-out brawl would technically be someone like Black Adam, as Black Adam is a character currently affiliated with the Justice League, uh, has taken on aspects of the Great Darkness, like he's a monster, right? That's a problematic matchup, that can be real tough. One thing he has, let's say you go for the argument that either... Black Adam and maybe one or two other characters within the Justice League scale to him, right? Just in terms of like what Brashear scales to without prep. He also has the Eternity Mask, which we'll have on him, which allows for him to essentially stats equalize. So he can take care of that uh, discrepancy if need be, which also should apply to Flash, right? If you were to argue Flash is just way faster, which I disagree given who Brashear has blitzed. Um, who Blue Marvel has ran down on. Like, I I definitely think he has arguments for being as fast. But, you know, anything can be argued. And so I think the Eternity Mask kind of puts to rest a lot of the ideas or notions of him not scaling in base. So you do have that. He has the firepower to pretty much put everyone down uh, in the Justice League in a 1v1. He cannot get into a brawl with the entire group, right? That can't go down. It just can't. It, that does not favor him at all, in the slightest. What he needs to do is isolate them. So who, narratively, would, do I think Brashear would have to target first or want to take out first? I honestly would probably see him taking out Batman first just because Batman, on the intellectual side and on the technology side, is the biggest threat if allowed to be kind of let loose and prepare for something taking down his friends, right? The others are going to get pissed off and put their best effort forth in terms of what they're capable of uh, in the battle department. But what I'm talking about is we could see an incident in which Batman has time to prep for this dude taking down the others. They're not going quietly, even with prep, right? So I see Batman going down first. He's got to go fast after this. Who's he target next? That's a difficult question. If we include Black Adam, you might want to get the strongest out the way. Pulling up on Black Adam with prep, what do I see him doing? Um, I think at this point, most of his game plan would be upon uh, handling it with his actual power um, and a bunch of antimatter-like tech to weaken his opponents as all of his opponents are indeed made of matter and he will be pursuing them with his own power his own stats as well as things like the eternity mask so i do think he could take down um black adam in a 1v1 but it would be very difficult even with prep black adam is not a character who in current times goes out quietly i don't foresee that occurring right so at this point we have a Black Adam, taken down. Batman, taken down. The others now rushing to take down uh, this new threat, right? How do I see Blue Marvel taking down the League, right? Will he be able to take down the rest of them? I'm a little conflicted about this. I think Superman and Wonder Woman at that point would be really hard to deal with. Given the lengths they'll probably be willing to go to at this point, Uh, There's also characters like Green Lantern, who I failed to mention so far, but him, Aquaman, all them, they will be a factor. I think there is a way to argue 
Blue Marvel would take it, given how high you could scale him, even in his base, due to recent comics with Defenders Beyond. However, characters like Black Adam, Superman the others, vice versa with Dark Crisis and such, they have a lot of scaling now, too. That can be argued. So, I think it would be very difficult. There is a world in which Blue Marvel pulls it off, if he goes about addressing them correctly. Um, I definitely could see it happening. It's also the fact that you have to acknowledge, depends on how quietly characters go. That's a difficult question. Black Adam, like I, like I said, I think that's a tough one. So, I think that enough noise will be made that the other uh, powerhouses of the group will respond in kind. Um, and my wager would probably be on him eventually failing high difficulty, uh, but a lot of casualties left in his wake. However, I could definitely see him winning, especially with prep. You know what? Ah, this is, this is a tough one. Like, it, it's hard to bet against him, especially what he's pulled off recently. With prep, I would probably say he loses high diff or wins highest of difficulties. That's my wage. I'm, I'm on the fence. I want to hear what you guys say. Let me know in the comment section down below how you think this scenario would play out, how I laid it out for you. Let me know. Definitely want to hear from you guys. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Jobbers and Goons, and I'll see you all later. Peace.